just made this chart to illustrate some of the key ideas when learning the basic multiplication facts. You'll notice it's colour-coded and I'm going to tear strips off just to show how we can break down the learning of the basic multiplication facts. So the first example would be, you notice this uh, red section here, all the answers are zero. And basically we know that when you multiply anything by zero, the answer is zero. Some children with learning difficulties think that three zeros are three, and so we may need to do a bit of work to help them appreciate and understand that that's not the case. Now, the understanding that's sitting here is called the multiplication property of zero. That is, anything multiplied by zero is zero. And instead of learning individual facts, it's better to understand that principle. If I understand that, you can see that there are a bundle of facts I no longer need to learn, and it accounts for quite a few of the facts. A similar principle happens here in this little purple section. Uh, this is basically anything multiplied by one as itself. And if I understand that, then there's a bundle more facts that I don't need to commit to memory. I just remember the principle that sits here. Now, this next section here, you notice there's the two times table. Uh, it relates back to the doubles facts for addition. So if I understand that three and three make six, then two threes will be six, and so on. Also, kids often count in twos. There's an even number pattern in the twos. And so many children don't have too much trouble with the two times table. Plus, it has a bit of a relationship to that doubling idea. The next two facts I'd like to look at in some order uh, there's my tens and fives. The nice part about when you teach the tens and the fives are uh, that you can relate them together with the idea of doubling and halving, a pretty key strategy. So if I know my ten times table and I halve them, I can get my five times table. For example, um, if I'm looking at uh, four fives are twenty, okay, uh, four tens would be forty. So if I double the fives, I get the tens. If I halve the tens, I get the five. So there's a doubling and a halving strategy. Also, children often um, count in fives, and we also clock intervals are in five minute slots. So when I'm teaching those, I often like to emphasize those things. Now, the big part here is this green part, and this goes back to the idea of what they call the array or muffin tray idea of multiplication. That is, when I multiply four by three or three by four, I still have the 12 or the 12 muffins. So what that means is if I understand that principle, it can halve the number of facts that I need to learn. I meet many children who can tell me, for example, they might say, well, look, I know what eight threes are, and they'll say, yeah, what are they, and they're 24, and I'll say to them, what are three eights? Oh, we haven't learned them yet. So they've never made the connections. If, and capital I F, if you make those connections, look at all the facts that you can eliminate. Now that leaves here 21 facts left, and you'll notice in this section here, they're all the three times table, and there's a di distinct pattern in the three times table. They're all your square numbers that sit here, and across the bottom are all your nine times table. So you can even break that down further. Now, it does show you that the hard one of the hardest tables to learn is seven eighths of 56, and we'll talk about that one a little bit later.